kinda quiet You should be helping me out Come on and help me graph that Right on the chart Graph that Ooh girl you're smart Graph that Right from the start Graph that Before we part Graph that Right on the chart Graph that Ooh girl you're smart Graph that Right from the start Graph that If you don't zoom in If you go zoom part. standard uh, some of your calculators. Shout out uh, to Miss Aragon, you know, old school. Look kind of funky. Mr. Dotson, Miss Kim Kang, okay. Mr. Johnson. Not, yeah, I see you. So that Woo! line there that you see is actually the x square plus the vertical y asymptote. square equals. And why is it at x equals one? Why is it at x equals one? A square plus b square equals c square. Nah, I'm saying I said Sorry? a square plus b square Where? equals c wow. square. Yeah, the that mean right. I said a square plus b square equals c square. Nah, I'm saying I said a square plus b square equals c square. So, Please. for rational functions, everybody know what a rational function is. What's a rational function? You know, what's a rational function? One that has rats in it. Ooh. Ooh, Henry. Uh, well, is sine over cosine a rational function? Uh, no. no. Why not? Because. Because. Uh, sine x over cosine. <laughs> that was a good one. Sine x over cosine x. Oh, no, no, it has to be a thing. And what thingy? <coughs> what thing? Uh, it's that that girl. That girl. That girl. No, 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 that girl, that lady, that, yeah. What are you talking about? Polly, Polly, polynomial, Polly, Pollyanna, Pollyanna. Who's Pollyanna? Does anybody know who Pollyanna is? No? Anyway, so a rational function is a polynomial over a polynomial. So you will get a vertical asymptote when the denominator becomes zero. That's what this statement is telling you, this last statement, okay? You can't have both the numerator and the denominator being equal to zero. Cannot. Then you will not get a vertical asymptote in that case. So here's an example. Here's an example. Where do you think you're going to get vertical asymptotes? Where do you think you'll get vertical asymptotes? Sorry? Two, negative two? Yeah? Graph that. Graph that. Yeah, make sure you guys got your parentheses in there. Big, no graphing calculator, no book, no glasses, no. Do you have paper there? Oh, oh, do you have paper there? Do you have paper there? Do you want pencil? I have pencil. Do you want Lucy Goosey to take notes for you? Can she do double duty like for you and for us all? Yeah, yeah, you can get some some jobs that yeah that they pay you to do them. Okay, do you guys graph that? Yeah. Okay, do you guys get two asymptotes? Yeah. You do? You be smoking. You be smoking. You got two asymptotes. You didn't use protection, girl. I use so much. Okay, everybody get just one. Yeah. Well, why is it that you guys were telling me there should be two? Sorry? Well, why are they smoking? Let's see why they were smoking. Ed, Jonathan, Henry. Oh, do it. Do it. Do it. So what happens now? So if you cancel it out, you can see that there is no vertical asymptote at x equals 2. 
Instead, thou will have what? You will get what? Sorry? Yeah, but then what will happen at two? I spy a hole. Okay, is everybody okay on that? Right, that's what you should, uh, you should see in your table. You should see error in your table. Okay, the x equals two. Is everybody with me on this stuff? Okay, next problem. Next one's trig, okay, next one's trig. Whoa, man, what kind of question is that? The freaking practice is up there. It's been up there for a week. Did you do it? Well then, you got to. A lot of the times, the practice is much easier than the test. Yeah. yeah. This year it'll be the same. No, last year, like second semester, it's fun. Oh my god! Yeah. Second semester. My first semester, my B was bad. Okay, okay, you guys, got to answer this question without a graphing calculator, hopefully. You should not do graph this without a calculator. What is CSC? So what should you graph first? You should graph sine first and then do what? Flip it over, one over. You guys got it? How many people remember how to graph sine? That's right. Where does it cross the axis? Sorry? Yeah. Sorry? Multiples of pi. And then on the other side, it'll be the same thing. So your graph's going to go like. Oops. Okay, so your graph should look like this. Okay? Where do you think the asymptotes are going to be? Where do you think the asymptotes are going to be? Yeah. Who's going to say? Sorry? Why 1 and negative 1? Henry? On the multiples of pi, you'll get an asymptote here, here, wherever the red graph is going through 0. So you'll get an asymptote here, an asymptote here. An asymptote here. Now, does someone want to come in and flip this over and fill in the stuff in between? You want to go, Laura? Go. Oh, but you drew it in. That's fun. What? You did this. That's my favorite. Huh? You drew the dotty thing. That's my favorite. Oh, well. I'm sure. <laughs> now. <laughs> Okay, is everybody okay on that? Yeah. Everybody all right on finding out asymptotes? Yeah. Alright, come. Yeah. Pretty yeah, uh, who's that for? It's for me, child. hopefully. It's my child. Oh, I don't want a child, thank you. <laughs> I've, had, I've had two too many, thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm done. You guys have questions on homework? You guys have questions on homework? Questions on the practice test?